I am Dr. Vikram Hudet, Director, Intervention Neurology, Narana Health Group. Today, we will be talking about brain hemorrhage. Brain hemorrhage is type of brain stroke. Here, the blood vessel to the brain they, uh, will rupture. It may be because of high blood pressure or there are various other conditions where brain hemorrhage can happen. One of the conditions which you should remember is brain aneurysm. Aneurysm is ballooning of the blood vessel. When the blood vessel balloons, it becomes weak and it can rupture, causing bleeding inside the brain. But once the aneurysm ruptures, we can treat these aneurysms depending on the morphology with a pinhole procedure, which is called endovascular coiling. Here we put a small pinhole into the leg artery or artery of the hand. We go inside the brain with a small tube. We use a fluoroscopy machine to take this material inside the brain vessels. So if the aneurysm is in the carotid artery, we take the catheter inside the anterior part of the blood vessel, which is the carotid artery. Inside that artery, we put a smaller tube, which is called microcatheters, and over the wire. The wire size will be of, uh, it will be almost like a hairs, that is the size of the uh, wires. So, this we take inside. When there is a balloon like swelling, we go inside that and we put the coils. So that clot is formed and the bleeding is stopped. So these coils are platinum coils. They are very soft and it is one of the finest procedure where we can do without opening the skull. In some aneurysms, if the neck uh, width is wider, so then the coil may not stay inside the aneurysm. In those situations, we use balloon temporarily to hold the coils or we use a stent to keep the coils inside the aneurysm. So this is called balloon assisted coiling or stent assisted coiling. So these all various procedures we can do uh, because the fluoroscopy machine is very good and it magnifies too much and we have recently we have a biplane where we can see both, uh, both the depth also in that fluoroscopy machine. So it is important for all of you to know that these vessel size may be up to 1.5 millimeter to 4 millimeter. So for this, uh, to do these procedures, the fluoroscopy machine should be very good. And we have a neuro cath lab dedicated for this. So in some cases, when the aneurysm is found incidentally, because they have done scan for some other reason and it is unruptured, in those situations, we use a flow diverter. Why aneurysms form? Because the artery wall is weak, that's why it bulges. So one example is, if a water pipe is weak, there it may bulge. So what we do? We change the water pipe, but in inside the brain, we can't change the water pipe. We put a pipe inside that weaker pipe so that over six months to one year time, 90% of the aneurysm will disappear if we put a flow diverter. So by these procedures, uh, by coiling, by balloon assisted coiling, stent assisted coiling, flow diverter, we can reduce the chance or stop the patient from bleeding. All these procedures are pinhole procedures. Thank you.